David Moore. Welcome to the first episode of the Behind the Scenes for Ace Wonder. Uh, we are still in Texas. We haven't left for Tennessee yet. We're sort of like the last group to go up. All the cool, important guys are up there. We got the guys working on the crane, the trailer, and everything for hauling a bunch of the equipment up there. Girls are up working on costumes. I'm working on a pen, which is one of the props. You'll see it in the movie. It's a panache pen. Panache means grand or flamboyant. So in other words, just cool, over the top, awesome. You have to make three of the pens. You gotta have a backup, you know, in, or two or three, just in case something goes wrong. But I'm gonna work on a cap right now. Ta-da! I am working on a pen, burning the design into the pen. It'll look somewhat like this, but a little different because I didn't like the way this one looked. My sister helped me with the pen. She's a very good artist, and so she drew all the fancy swirly doodahs that I was supposed to burn into it. And so she's really the one who makes the pen look nice. It's just dark and Anyways, yeah, but it's funny because they, this yeah, guy's like, I need to get... We are collapsing the crane and putting it in the trailer so we can move it from Texas to way, way East Tennessee. I'm just sitting around watching these guys work. Everything's good. As opposed to regular stain, which is liquid. This is in gel form, so it doesn't bleed beyond what I'm staining. I put it on here like this, and then I have to rub it in. I will finish tomorrow morning. I put a tongue oil on it. Tongue oil is a varnish for on woods. It's a protective coating. Uh, shiny, makes it look, look real pretty. This is what I'm using right here. There's pencil marks, it's got dirt, grime. You have to get remove everything before you put the tongue oil on that could cause the oils not to soak in. So instead of erasing the pencil marks, they just sand it off. That way you kill eight birds with one stone. <laughs> We are packing up bowls and etc. Mostly my grandpa's a few made by my uncle Greg. This is a bowl. I have tapes it because I don't want to bust the bark off. He turned this, it was for the side of a tree, and he left the he turned it with the bark not falling off, which is really hard to do. There's probably something like that. Basically what I have right here is the last piece of the pen I'm putting on here. This just basically so you can see the way the pen goes together. This is the cap, screws on. You can see it, the way it goes together. This is a non-finished pen, of course. Uh, here is the pen itself. This is what it looks like. So that's basically how the pen works. Now we're making last minute preparations before we leave for Tennessee. So we'll see you there. Thanks for watching the video.